<laughs> I don't really have much of a background. I used to sing in a shower. I did some karaoke. Uh, let me tell you, there's not a lot of blues songs out there to choose from in karaoke. So my kids all know that I love the blues. And um, my daughter Paula, who, who lives here in Queensbury, showed me the Chronicle and it said that there was a blues jam at Lawrence Street Tavern on Thursday night. You ought to try to go. I had recently retired from the court system and was looking for something to do. And so I came down to the blues jam just to listen. I asked if I could sing a song. I was told, yeah, come on up. I sang Sweet Home Chicago, I think. And ever since then, I've just been singing every week when they let me. When I first came, uh, I was nervous, as you would imagine, not having a real background as a singer. I got good feedback from the musicians. They kind of guided me along. Matt Donnelly, Freddie Tripp, Jim Foe, the late Ralph Spillinger. They all gave me advice. They all pushed me forward to the point where I, I don't really have nerves anymore. I just let it go. If they like me, they like me. If they don't, eh, they don't. So what I really like about the blues, the music just hits me the right way. You know, it's something that I, I, I just love the way it comes together. I love being able to sing it. I just, I just it's in your soul. You know what I mean? And so I got to let it out. So, and, and they let me do that here, which is amazing. You know, we start playing a song, they start dancing. Uh, it, the feedback we get, you know, primes us and we get going. And, and it's just, it's really a, a symbiotic relationship. Without them, you wouldn't have us. Without us, you wouldn't have them. With the exception of spending time with my family, this is the most fun I have during the week. This, this is such a great venue. and. The people are so great, the uh, customers are so great. It's just a fantastic time. We really, you know, kind of blow it out. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>